Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I woke up this morning with the thought that I haven't actually been in any charity shopping recently and then this idea came to me, what well, if I challenge myself today and I'm gonna do thrift flips with the items which I'm gonna buy today. So the plan is I will go to my local charity shop which is super small but very cheap at the same time. Uh, I will find three different items which are gonna transform after coming back home. So I'm basically limited to very small shop uh, but the biggest challenge it will be to finding items which are gonna look nice after the makeover usually i go to plan in my head and then i'm going thrifting but today of course i don't know what i'm going to find so i have to use my imagination really hard and super fast during the visiting show i'm super excited but nervous at the same time if i'm actually gonna find anything so wish me luck and i will see you after my shopping is done So I'm back and as you could see this charity shop is really small and the stuff is all over the place um, there is no much footage from there as I'm still kind of camera shy when it comes to public places plus it was quite busy and the mask was covering my eyes I had to hold everything in one hand so yeah anyway I'm back and I got three different items with me uh, they are pretty random things but I'm hoping to make something nice out of them uh, I paid all together £1.50 so it was really cheap okay so let me show you what I found so the first item I've got is this uh, rectangle shape and quite flat basket. I think basket is always safe choice. You can do so many different uh, things with it. Uh, so I was thinking for long and I just grab it. It's in good condition. It's probably just need some hovering. Second item I found is this blue metal lamp shade. Um, this one is quite tricky as I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't know if to keep it original purpose or do something completely different with it. We will see. And my last item is this beautiful vintage glass plate with kind of metal handles. Um, I really love it, I like the combination of glass and the gold metal. With this one, I'm probably just gonna keep it really simple and just refresh the look of it. Overall, I'm happy with the items I found. I'm not gonna lie, it was quite hard to have the ideas straight away to what to do with those items, but I hope they will turn amazing. So without any further ado, let's start with the first flip. Before I start anything else, I hover my basket. For this project, I will use my 5mm thick cotton rope. I place my basket vertically. 
My plan is to fill whole surface of my basket inside with this rope. To do it, I'm using hot glue. I'm putting small amount of glue in a straight line and then press my cord and hold it for a few seconds so it's nicely glued to the basket. To do the edges, I simply turn the cord and starting new row. I continue this process all the way up. Of course, the surface of the basket is not straight and even, so I'm trying to pull each rope before gluing it to the basket. This way, rope will stick only to the most convex parts of basket. Once I glue it all, I've cut the excess rope off. For my painting, I'm using this beige orange brown color palette. I was inspired by some lovely graphics I found on Pinterest and Etsy. I start with making the sketch. I'm only painting the contours of mountains. I always find this way of doing it much easier. As you can see, I'm using different color of paint for each hill. Once the lines were done, I started to paint it. Because cotton cold absorbs some of the paint, I needed more amount of the paint than I've thought. I think it's very satisfying to paint on something different than canvas. It is quite tricky when it comes to straight lines and the sharp edges, but I still enjoy it a lot. To finish it off, I'm painting the sun. I'm actually very happy with this flip. Basket makes perfect frame for my painting. The rectangle shape works very well for it as well. So I've decided to keep the original purpose of this lampshade and just change slightly the look of it. I'm also using some adhesive gems which I bought another day in Poundland. Basically gluing these gems on lampshade at the same distance, creating the row. My first plan was to use hot glue to create small dots but I knew it's gonna be a messy job, so I've used the gems instead. With the second row and any other, I'm gluing the stones between the two from the row higher. I'm making sure they are staying properly and are straight in the line. I left some space on the bottom of my lampshade to add some more details later on. And also remove the attachment from the top. I took my lampshade outside to spray paint it. I'm using gloss white. Shake it well and then apply thin layer of paint. When working with spray paint, it's always better to do few thinner layers than one thick one. Just let it dry in between the covers to avoid any paint leaks. Do the same inside the lampshade. Using cotton rope, I'm measuring circumference at the bottom part of lampshade. 
Then I'm cutting 50 cm long pieces of cord. To attach them to my longer cord, I'm using Clark's head knot. I've made videos in the past where I'm explaining each of these knots deeply. I'm placing knots next to each other with about 2 cm distance. Then I'm taking two first knots and create square knot. But I'm not pulling until end, I'm leaving some gap between square knot and top rope. I repeat this process with the rest of cord. Once first row is done, I'm creating more square knots between the first two knots from the first row. And with the third row, I'm doing the same thing. Once all knots are done, it's time to attach it to my lampshade. I'm placing my lampshade on another bowl just to make it higher so it will be easier to glue it. I'm making small dots of hot glue and then press my cord into it. I'm going around lampshade with the net. Then I'm creating another square knot to connect two ends of my net. To finish it off, I'm cutting excess rope all the way around at the same length. I'm really happy how this lampshade turned out. I like the texture, the gems create and for me the white color was better than the blue one. As I said before, with this dish I'm only going to refresh the look of. So I've cleaned the glass part and removed the handle. Moving outside, I treat the glass with some white primer. I just thought it will be better effect when I use primer before the other paint. Spray thin layer, let it dry. And then I'm spraying the same paint I've used with my lampshade. I'm doing the same process on the other side of the plate. Then using metallic gold paint, I'm spraying my handles. I really like the gold edges on this plate before, so once everything is dry, I paint them with metallic gold paint. Because it's acrylic paint, I will have to apply a few layers of it. I have put gently the handle back then decorate my dish with some leaves and pumpkins. I really like its minimalistic look. Of course, I won't be able to display any food on it anymore, but I think it's a great decorative dish for the table. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this project. Uh, 
I just wanted to show that you can create really nice and unique home decoration items on a really low budget. For me it was so much fun to work in kind of under pressure and uh, create all of this item in such a short period of time. Leave the comment down below with ideas how would you transform these items. I'm excited to read it and maybe get some inspirations for my future projects. And of course click the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate it. And for now thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.